Hi all, Susan Gerbig again. I am going to give you the last reading in this set with uh, John Edward talking to over the phone um, to sitters in, at the Jackie and Kyle, Kyle and Jackie O show in Australia. This is the last sitter and um, her name is Penny. It's another woman, which it usually is. And there's, I'm going to cut a little bit out of it because, and I'll tell you when I'm going to do it because it gets to be John Edward just monolize, mon, just going on and giving her life advice that you would give to anybody if you liked them and you wanted to give them some kind of advice. It, it doesn't really mean anything. Um, this is the fourth video I have done and the last one I've done on this recording. And I've really not spent a lot of time with John Edward over the years because he's been really kind of... Um, investigated so many times over over the last few decades that I kind of felt like well I kind of know what he's up to I've heard him many times but not not in this way and it's really intense looking at these videos in the way I have there's something I noticed in the very first video and I will point it out again and it, he darn does it again here so it's I, I I don't know so um if you want to watch this recording it's um I will put the notes, I will put the link in the description of this video. Watch it before I do. Um, and then come back and watch my evaluation. Let's see if we catch the same things, because I think that's always really interesting. And please put them in the uh, comments, because I'm, I'm curious what you guys come up with. This is the first time I've listened to this. I've listened to it one time a few minutes ago. I made a few notes. And now I'm going to go back. Now, this time I, I made notes, but I didn't make very detailed notes because I wanted to see if I could just kind of, you know, wing it and see what happens. So I don't know. So I think it's a good idea if you guys go and listen to it first. Come back. It's like, I don't know, 10, 8 minutes. But that's because he's got a whole like a minute where he talks to Penny about her life choices and how her life should be better and how, you know, whatever. Okay. Let's do this. And I wanted to apologize to you guys because, you know, a lot, a lot of people out there who are doing these kinds of videos, they've got like all sorts of cool effects and stuff that happen in the, in, in you know, is it, they would have like a clock over here. Or they'd have like a, a zowie, a bam, a boom, you know, appear on the screen and stuff like that. I, I just don't do that. But I mean, you know, I, if you, if you like that kind of stuff, I can go bam, boom, zoom, but sorry. I'm, this is just me talking to you, explaining this video, going into great depth to explain what I see based on my years of experience. You probably could do this yourself. Each psychic is, each of these grief vampires is different. So this is John Edwards style. It's been really interesting to see him in so many different, um, you know, just one sitting. So he's in Australia. This is early 2022 early 2020 the pandemic has not happened um that's becoming more clear as we go through this video he's been on this show 16 years with them it's a 30 minute video 23 minute video with them and they have this couple kyle and jackie o show have been on for 20 years so you know they've got they've got some experience they've got a fan base and so on here we go Appreciate oh, okay. it. Well, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Penny's also called through. Hi, Penny. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I love that this guy's just that oh, I might change next year. You're like, no, nah, it'll be before that. He's like, oh, he's probably hung up the phone. They're like, hey, Roland, you're out of here. You're fired. <laughs> oh, shit. And John Edward was right again. I've had that happen when I was <laughs> clearly not with you guys, but I've had that happen with uh, <laughs> with some DJs that I've worked with over the years where I was like, are, are you guys like like a, oh, are you gonna no. be like changing stations and they were like no <laughs> and, like, and i had a standard thing that i did with them every like every week and i'm like yeah no i see you guys be i go are you guys being like satellite oh, to another show and they were like no and then like the next week when i called up they're like yeah they were sacked oh no, no. you don't see that with us yeah. do you john no. okay good no. good <laughs> Phew. what do you see for us because we've been here next year is our 20th year together which is mm. that's pretty uh, ridiculous awesome. yeah. yeah it's amazing for us i think like, i've been with you guys last. for 16 of those yeah. 20 right yeah, yeah that's right. a long time yeah yeah, yeah. like i'm family i know you, you are, are family. family thank you 
Um, no, your I family feel- that doesn't give us enough free readings. That's what <laughs> I feel like. Listen, listen, Jackie's got my number. She doesn't use it. I know. And I came here today oh. expecting a reading, and it hasn't happened yet, Kyle, so I know how you feel. That's all right. Look, it's understandable. Penny, you're on. Before we let John Edward go, uh, he wants to talk to you. Penny, me, John, John, me, Penny. Hi, Penny. How Hello. can I help you? Hi, John. How are you? I'm good. Oh, somebody Hi. around you lost a child, Penny. Who lost a child? My sister. I have your I have the your sister's child coming in, and then they're telling me to tell you twelve. So twelve to me would be the twelfth month, December, um, or the twelfth of a month having a meaning, birthday or anniversary. Penny, is your mom passed? Yes. I have your mom coming through with the child, and they're making me feel like somebody had an issue with either alcohol or drugs because they're showing. Okay. Whew. Quite a bit there already. Okay, so sorry. Like I said, I should have put that little that little bit out of there. I had written down that Penny was starting. Like I said, I'm really just kind of doing this on the fly listening to it once so that i don't feel like i'm you know uh I, so i'm kind of listening to it like you are um first off this is a woman who's a little short of breath you can hear that or she's very emotional australian woman um maybe a little bit older it sounds maybe in her 40s 50s or maybe a little bit older than that immediately he goes to a dead child who is the dead child in the family okay well There's almost always a dead child in the family somewhere, right? So even if it isn't a child, like a, I mean, what do you call a child? Is a child under three? Is a child under five? Is a child, I have children, my children are in their thirties. But if you're talking to me and they said, do you have a child? I would say, I have two. So, I mean, it depends. It's all relative. So it's a plan word. So don't think it's just like, oh yeah, that's just what people say. No, this is a deliberate use of the word. So the word child is used. And I've seen this done with a lot of psychics. They use a child. They throw out a child. They don't say a boy. They don't say a girl. They don't say the child's name. They just throw out child because they know it's going to hit. Somebody's child is, is dead. And I am a child of a man and a woman, my mom and dad. So if you were talking to my parents who have have died and you said something about their child, I'm their child, I'm 60, but I'm still their child. So again, think about it that way. This is a very deliberate word they use. Psychics do, lots of them do this kind of thing. She immediately goes to her sister's child Again, I'm thinking child is, well, it's relative, whatever you get it. It's relative, get it, child. Okay. A child is relative to whatever the conversation is. She immediately latches on to her sister's child. And we'll learn a little bit more about that in a minute. But John don't got no clue. Did you notice? He ain't saying boy, girl, infant, five-year-old. He he, he is not saying anything. But the m- woman, Penny... She knows. She knows what she wants to get, right? She knows where she's going with this. And she assumes John Edward is also there. And she's trying to help him. She's trying to make that leap for him to, to hook onto it. So she, she'll keep them talking. Uh, he asked, has your mom died? Well, don't you know? I just, I, I'm blown away by that. I'm blown away that these people have the balls to go ahead and say that to everybody. You know, like, like he just did. Your mom dead. And then people are like, oh, yeah, I guess he has to ask me. No, no. Um, did, uh, I can't remember. Did we already get to the December thing? Hold on a second. Let's, let's see. Let me go. Let's, let's play again. I might come back to this again because I wrote it down, but I might've wrote it down wrong. Show me a, a substance issue, so I know that there's some type of issue with like narcotics, and your dad must be there too, because your mom's got a male that's with her to the side. So no, that, no, my, no, yeah, yeah no. she's got oh, a male with her that's coming through to her side. So that to me would be like your father, your father-in-law, or your uncle, not grandfather. It's okay. So I guess we, I guess we did get uh, past it. He said December that he's getting twelve in December. I oh, bugs me. I hope you've heard it. I wrote it down. I didn't skip anything, so it must be in there. Okay, I've not really been following John Edward as much as some people have, as I've said. But in this four reading, 
phone interview. He's done four. And this is my fourth video. He has mentioned the month exactly the same at the beginning of the, of the reading. He's mentioned a month and he said, is there a birthday or anniversary connected to it? Because I'm getting a birthday or anniversary or an important event. He said March. He said August. And now he said December. Now, what do those three months have in common? They all are 31 day months. So he's playing the odds, right? It, I know it's only one day, unless we're talking about February, but it is playing the odds. You're much more likely to, to score an anniversary or birthday or something if you're mentioning a month with 31 days. So I don't know if I'm going to follow much more of this guy's career and do more of these videos, but I'm curious if he ever mentions February, unless he knows for a fact that it's February. I'm just throwing that out there. Let's just keep an eye on that. You and I, you and I, we keep an eye on that. Okay, this other thing about drugs and alcohol, uh, your mother's died, the grandmother's coming through with a child. He knows this. He knows your mother's dead because she just told him because he had to ask her. Um, so don't make it sound like he knew that the child, grandma and her grandchild are together because he never said that. He said, is there a child? And she said, yes, it's my sister's child. And he said, is your mom's dead? And she said, yes, my mom is dead. He says, okay, they're together in the afterlife. That is all made up, right? He just put two together. One plus one equals two and Penny's buying all of it. And so are these other hosts that are just enabling him. Drugs and alcohol, is a father there also? He must be there also, he says. And she says, no. <laughs> he starts to argue with her. He's arguing with her. He says, to the side, to the side, because that's his thing. He says, if it's your generation, your husband, your, um, your best friend, somebody on the same age length of you, it's sideways, he says. That's the symbol he gets. It's a sideways thing. If it's a parent or an uncle, or uh, then it's above you, an older person. If it's your child, it's below you. So this is his, you know, it's not an exact science, Susan. You know, he can't be perfect all the time, Susan. He can't be always perfect. Well, so far, this is the fourth, fourth reading I've seen. I haven't seen anything, nothing yet that what I would consider even slightly nothing. Okay. The first video I did see one little tiny, or was it the second video? I did see a tiny little thing, but I think it was a hot reading. He mentioned brains and maybe, maybe he mentioned brains as, and he didn't get it as a hot reading. It was just a guess. I don't know, but that's, that's not much. Okay. He's arguing with this woman saying that the man he sees is, is, is the con is her Penny's contemporary, her her thing. And now he's saying, oh, it must be, or wait, I got confused. Her mom's contemporary, okay, sideways to the mom. And she's saying, no. Let's see where they go with this. Getting a lot wrong. It's got to be on the same level that your mom would be on. And they're telling me that somebody just had a knee replacement or they're having knee, knee issues. There's something knee related that they want me to highlight. Okay. Is that happening now? Nine up in the nose. Aren't you one of four? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Aren't you one of four kids? Uh, no, one of five. So out of the five kids, four are similar and one is different. Okay, yeah. Okay, that means somebody's having a knee issue. And the way that they're showing it to me, that would be somebody's either having a knee issue where they're having surgery or it's being rehabilitated. So they're pointing they're, they're pointing to the knee, like down by the down by the knee. Um, and the person that lost their child, if that's your sister, then I need to let, let them know that the child is with mom, like they're coming in together. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. How in the heck do people listen to this and think this is real? It is so frustrating. You're one of four kids. I'm seeing a knee something, something going on with a knee. No, there is nothing going on with the knee. She's like, well, I don't think so. Because remember how I said, the sitter wants 
badly to relate. They want the reading to continue. So they're very motivated to, to agree to things that are tenuous because they don't want it to end. They want, they want to just continue with the reading. He says, you're one of four. She says, no, I'm one of five. And he immediately says, well, that means there's four of you alike and one of you different. <laughs> what does that even mean? And then he says, that means the me issue. Right. He's really grasping. And John Edward is, and Penny's like, okay, you are the real famous John Edward. So you must be right. And I must be wrong. I mean, he, he's already arguing with her. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it, it's. Okay. All righty. Isn't that I nice? Hope helps. Yeah. My, my, yeah. It's a nice to know that your mum's there with your sister's child. Don't you think that's yeah. lovely? Yes, that's beautiful. How old was she, the child, when she passed? Um, she was eight months pregnant, and she had a spleen eruption, and she lost the baby. Oh. oh and then, horrible. Penny, do you have a cousin that passed in a car accident? Um, I can't think of anything. So that's coming in really, really, really loud. Somebody that would be a contemporary. So to me, I say that's a cousin. Um, husband, wife, brother, sister, cousin, friend. It's to the side. But it feels a little yeah. bit like removed. So removed to me would be a cousin, or removed would be like you know uh, it's time time removed. But they yeah. di they died in an accident. They passed in in an event. Oh yeah, my two uncles. Sorry, I, I, one was an accident. One was um, in what do you call it? Uh, an accident at um, he got electrocuted in the business. So no. one had one did one have a car accident? And one had a car accident. Yeah, a semi trailer uh, ran. Oh, because oh, yeah. right. they tell me the person. Sure. The person. Many years ago, I so was very it's, little. it's to your mom's side then, right? So it would be a contemporary. No, that's my dad's side. No, no, but I'm, I'm sorry. When I say to the side, I mean like husband, wife, brother, sister, cousin, friend to the side. Not yeah. yeah, yeah so not, it's it's just it's the pl I have OCD, so I have to like place things in a certain place yeah. so I know where they yeah. go, like what bucket it goes in. So you're talking not to the side of her, but to the side of her the, the, her parents. Wrong. Correct. Yeah. Um, right. And I'm going to tell you that the person that passed in the vehicle, they either passed by a family holiday or they passed literally by Christmas or they passed literally by um, a calendar holiday that would be celebratory in some way. Um, yeah. And if my you, mom pa passed on Christmas Day yeah. four years this year. Okay, so this is this is like your your mom's way of making sure that you know like she's kind of like you know doing the family thing. Now, are you at home? Oh man. Okay, so I. I took a note of something that they say at the very end, and now I saw where it came in. Because she said her mom passed away four years ago. And I couldn't hear it the first time I went through, but I just heard him right now. She just said it very briefly four years ago. So it just snuck in there, just like a little sneak in there. But a little later on, uh, the host will mention that it was four years. So obviously somebody's paying attention. Okay, where are we at? Somebody's got a knee issue. Penny doesn't know anything about a knee issue. I guess watch out for that knee issue. Um, does she have a cousin who died in a car accident? No. The answer is no. She did not have a cousin that she's ever known of who has died in a car accident. And he says it is a side. It is somebody who's your contemporary, right? Wrong. Mr. Wrong, wrong, Mr. Wrongy, wrong, wrong. So then, because she's trying so hard to make a connection, she remembers when she was a little girl, there were two uncles who died, one in a car accident and one was electrocuted. So why was the electrocuted guy brought up? He's not in a car. She says he's not in a car. She, it was the one who died when she was very young who was in a car, so she remembers. Okay, well, that's an uncle that is upper, especially since she was a little girl when it happened and they were older people. Uh, she says something about work related. So these are uncles, older people. So he's, he's wrong. He's saying, oh, oh, I must be, oh, oh it was my, it was your, it was your mother's um, 
contemporary your mother's side issue and she's like no it's my dad he's like oh i know i know i know it's no you don't you don't know that you're just saying that i mean contemporary he's just very smooth you guys it's it's a he's been doing this a thousand thousands and thousands of times he's had these readings he's a glib he's very smooth so it's gonna look natural like an actor like a politician it's not like he's sitting there thinking about these things he just opens his mouth and it spills out and it's not because he's communicating with dead people it's because he's done this thousands and thousands of times he's very good at it and he clearly said and i listened to it again this time he clearly said those dead uncles or the cousin who does not exist who died in the car accident those they want to acknowledge uh, that they died near a holiday a family holiday or christmas you could play it back but i know 100 percent he said that and penny says yes my mother died on christmas day he said and john takes credit for it as if we don't have the ability to rewind and listen to it again. That is not at all what he said. It is not at all what he was talking about. He said that the cousin uncles who died, one died in a car accident, died around a family holiday, which is what? What? A birthday, an anniversary, a holiday everybody likes to share together, going to the lake at the summertime or the beach at the summertime. What is a holiday? We go around a holiday. My town has holidays too. What does that mean? It means anything you want near a holiday. Before, during, after, or Christmas. Like Christmas is not a holiday. I wonder... If he's you gotta be careful, he's not getting any people who are, you know, mentioning Christmas whenever they're Jewish or anything like that. But I guess there's not a large percentage of people in Australia that are Jewish, so he's kind of safe right there. But I I wonder, I think that people, these mediums do change their tactics depending on where where they're at in their um reading. What what is the culture of the of the general population in the room? I think they change it a little bit. Anyway. So it was going to be hit no matter what, because it's always somebody's going to die near a, near a holiday before or after. And she said, my mother died on Christmas. Well, he didn't know that. And he said near a holiday, not on Christmas. She said on Christmas. That's not near Christmas. That is on Christmas. I'm not willing to give him these things. The sitter is more than willing to think that this is this is a hit that these are all hits but no when you see a when you see this as much as i do you watch these things over and over all sorts of different mediums and it's so vague and it's just a word play and they speak really fast to confuse you and they know the person is really motivated to to believe so no this is not evidence of communication with the dead no way no how Okay, so I think I'm going to skip ahead a second. Hold on a second. Okay, but I just paused. I paused and I fast forwarded about two minutes because he, he asked her, are you in your house right now? And she says, no, I lost it in the cusp uh, when she divorced her husband or her spouse. And it just kind of made it sound like it was bad. So you can rewatch it if you, you can watch it if you want to. I give you the link inside the, the description of the box here if you really want to hear it. But it's like two minutes of he's going on just platitudes about, you know, live your best life. And your mom is telling me that your life is going to be better. He's just making it up. Okay. Uh, just advice he would give to people in general. Well, he asked if you're in your house right now. And she said, no. And he's wrong. That's wrong. Um... And now he's going to get to something else. Okay, so that's where I want to start. Here's It's just really short. So we're almost done with this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All righty. And then anybody call you Pen Pen? 
um, Pango. Who's that? <laughs> and a friend. Okay. And my brother, <laughs> too. <laughs> Okay, and then did you have a tattoo that your mom never told you never told your mom about? No. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to say is this: What well, I is reckon this, the answer is yes to that. What is this? <laughs> what is the story about the 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 marking? And if you don't want to go on the radio, because we're live. If you don't want to reveal this, but if your mom said that she understands that you had the marking on your body, that to me is normally a tattoo, a scar, or someone who might have um, developed a. a they might have had an issue where there was bruises and stuff. So she's okay. making me feel like she she understands that now. Okay. Yep. Do you want, okay. Do you know Do you know what he's yep. talking about, Penny? Yes. Yes. Okay. He knows from the conversation that I cut out that just you get the feeling that she's from an abusive relationship. So John was going to just throw in the fact that she's probably had some bruises on her, and she and Penny says, "Yeah, it was bruises." Well, first off, he says tattoo that your mom didn't know about or a marking that your mom didn't know about. If your mom's been dead four years, did you get a tattoo in the last four years and you didn't tell her? Well, you know, it's just really reaching. He's going to the emotion, right? He's trying to go towards um, getting one last hit. This is his last reading. And it just feels like he's reaching and he's playing her emotions. Your mom knows that you actually had bruises on your body. And now she realizes that you were actually abused. I guess that's where he's going with it. I don't know. Penny says that her, that she did have bruises. Hands up all those people out there who've had bruises or marks on their body. And your mom didn't know. It's just, it's a thing to say that gets hits right okay so again remember the sitter penny is very motivated to get this to be um a reading that hits and so when he says did anybody call you pin pin she responds they call me penguin my friend and my brother so those are not the two words that are the same if you, i mean they're sort of the same but her name is penny John is just trying to trying for something. Did they call you Pin Pin? If she had said right off, yes, they called me Pin Pin. My husband, my husband, my my brother, my mom called me Pin Pin. He would have been like, yes, because that's what they're saying. Yes, because that's what I'm hearing. But no, the answer is no. Nobody called her Pin Pin. They called her Penguin. Her brother and her friend. Well, you know how many think about any friends you have in your life. They're going to call you a nickname. Surprised nobody did call her Pin Pin. Okay, so I have one last thing I want to share with you guys. Hold on a second. Let's get over to it. Oh, I should pause this real quick because I got to find it real quick. Hey, uh, it's always you. great Thanks, to have you John. here. Thank Enjoy. You. Uh, you yeah, not really. Just make it a shift. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, what, three months out? Oh, yeah. It's always you. great Thanks, to have you John. here. Thank Enjoy. You. Uh, you're always here at Christmas, around Christmas time. Yep. John's uh, fault. Yeah. Yeah. Not John's I fault. Can't go. Are you on? I'm just happy to be on pause at the second. Yeah. Where's Brian Nugent's phone number? In your phone? It is? Yeah. Under B, Brian. Yeah, can you close it up, please? Thank you. Okay. So this last little bit, Penny's gone. She's she's happy as can be. Um. This little thing I thought was really, really interesting. Now, listen to this. This is the very end. He's signing off with these people. He's been on the show for 16 years. He's been coming to Australia or more. It's at least 16 years he's been on this show. So check this out. Well, direct. <laughs> uh, good to see you, John. Always. Love to the family. Always. Uh, it's Thank always you. great Thanks, to have you John. here. Thank Enjoy. You. Uh, you're always here at Christmas, around Christmas time. Yep. Next year, I think you're I'm coming you're... in August, September. I'm changing uh, it up. Yay. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Shift, make it a shift. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Oh, what, three months earlier? Gee, yeah. you're such a big changer. <laughs>
That OCD doesn't let you change much, does it? It doesn't. <laughs> John Edward, uh, on the air this morning. Okay. And that was that. So I want to share this other little bit with you. So keeping in mind, this is before the pandemic, right? Um, let me share this with you. This is John Edwards' Ticketmaster that was going on before uh, this recording happened. So it must have happened. This recording must have been sometime in the, you know, early, early, because John has got August in here. And there was supposed to be a September date, but I guess that's gone. But um, he didn't make the rest of them. Why? Because there was pandemic. So John didn't know there was going to be COVID. I don't know why. He planned it out. He was going to be back around Christmas. He doesn't come back for some reason. Just throwing it out there anyway. So we've got um, four videos for you. I'm very curious what you guys have to say about those. Oh, let's see. I missed stuff. I'm sure I've missed stuff. This is only the second time I've listened to this recording. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes all the time. You tell me what I did mess up on, what I missed, what I should have gotten. But what should John Edward have gotten for pin? Well, he should have he should have predicted COVID and not scheduled any events then, but he didn't. Um be interesting to find out if the if this uh Kyle and Jackie O show stayed in stayed around because he said, oh yeah, I don't see any changes for you guys at all. It'd be interesting if they were canceled right after this, but I don't think so. Um what do you miss? Anybody's names? Sister's names, mom name. I mean, he got a lot wrong. In fact, I don't see anything correct. I'm looking at my notes. I don't see he hit anything. So this has been a 23-minute um, recording that John Edward did of four readings for four different Australians um, in 2020, early 2020, it looks like. And I have a video for each four, each one. This one is the last one. And I don't think you got a hit on anything. I think it's a big fat zero. But if you read the comments underneath the video, you will think that he hit amazing hits every time. Um, he's picked three different months to bring up at the beginning, saying that there's an anniversary near this or a birthday near this in this month. He's picked August, he's picked September, and he's picked just he's picked March and he's picked August and he's picked December, all months with 31 in it. Um nothing. As you go through these, no. <laughs> and he got nobody's name. Um uh, not for Penny, not really for anybody. He threw out a Michael in one of the videos. Um he threw out a J name like a Joe or Joanne, and the woman didn't know what he was talking about. Boy, I... I don't know about you guys, but this was really embarrassing. This is the great John Edward. Does it get better? Because I don't know how much worse it could possibly get. I've seen some pretty awful things, but... So I'm enjoying doing these videos for the moment. This is my fourth one. If you have something you want me to evaluate, either audio or a video. So like an audio would be fine. I, I could just play the audio. You want me to evaluate it? Please let me know. I really want to find the very, very best. Uh, the things that people think are the very best. And it's really interesting to also do different psychics to listen to the different mediums because they all have a little bit of a different take on how they do it. They, their style is a little different. John Edward is a cold reader. That means he comes in cold. He doesn't know uh, anything about the person, though I do know that the screener um, screens these calls and gives, gives the hosts at least some information, or at least a little bit of information. I don't know if it's going to John Edward. I don't think he needs to go to John Edward. I, it looks so much like it's just a cold, cold read. He's he's using his years and years of experience, um, how common people have in touch with each other. And I would expect 
if I was to listen to, you know, another 10 of uh, his readings and do a recording like this, that we would see a same similar stuff going over and over and over because people don't usually compare um, in this detail that I'm doing. This is not common for people to do. They might pick one, but they don't go to all. So he's not hot reading people. I, he's never really been a hot reader. He's what we call old school um, from the, he's like a nice Sylvia Brown, if you remember her. And uh, Sylvia Brown, it is dead. <laughs> Light me another smoke. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, this is sad. Um, my draw fair sad too. It made me sad. Okay, so please let me know. Uh, send me an email, Susan Gerbic at uh, gmail.com. You can find me from my website. I've got lots of articles about these um, psychics I've investigated for years. I have a whole team of people who help me, but in, in this case, it's just been me and my uh, my pencil and paper that I'm making notes when I click on. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing them and I hope I'll be able to do more of these for you guys. Thank you guys. Have a great day.